everybody, it's Laura London from lauralondonfitness.com. Today we're making some dinner. Everyone says, Laura, what should I eat for dinner? I don't know what to make anymore. I don't know how to cook, what to cook. Listen, it's about being simple, easy, quick, and delicious, right? We want to have good tasting food, but we want it to be healthy, not loaded with calories. But guys, start just thinking simple, a few ingredients and you can make really delicious meals. Okay, today it's gonna be scallops. You can do this with scallops, shrimp, chicken, whatever. But I had scallops, these are um, sea scallops, they're large. I have garlic, olive oil. I have one zucchini, which I peeled already. And I have one red pepper that I chopped up. And I already made some brown rice because you don't want to watch me cooking the rice. I've got some lemon, lemon juice, and this is um, paprika. This is smoked paprika, which is a really great thing. We're going to be doing a lot of different things with the smoked paprika. Okay, so what are we going to do? I've got my scallops. This is a, mar you know, if you can marinate the scallops for a while, that's really the best. But watch this. We're gonna peel, I don't like this peeler, honestly. Hold on, because I got another one. All right, we're gonna make these beautiful zucchini strips, okay? You don't always need to chop them. May I have fun with your vegetables. I want you guys to get vegetables in. They are full of nutrients for the body. Sometimes we will cook them, we'll just cook them like al dente. Best is always raw, but you know what? Experiment. Get them in different ways. Okay, so I'm giving you an idea of what we can do there. And now we've got some red pepper. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of olive oil. Maybe if you want me to measure, I'll measure. That's why I put these here. Okay, a tablespoon of olive oil to get our scallops. Scallops actually hold a lot of water in them. Sometimes I like to drain that out. Hold on one second. I'm going to drain it with my hand here. All right, but the oil is still there. I'm a very messy cook. I am going to add some lemon juice. We'll do it again. Another tablespoon of lemon juice. Put it on there. You could use lemon juice. You could use lime juice. This is organic lemon juice. You can find, find this in my regular grocery store. You don't want those little um, lemons because they're full of some um, artificial ingredients. This is 100% organic. We're going to take this lemon. I've used it already. Watch this. This is a zester. If you've never zested a lemon, a lime, an orange, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love me because it adds so much flavor to the food. And when your food is full of flavor, you're gonna enjoy it and you're going to be satisfied. None of this bland diet food. I'm trying to teach you how to eat well and still enjoy your food with flavor. Okay, so here, gotta do it on the right side. We're gonna add, of course, I've washed the lemon already. <laughs> We're gonna zest, and this just bursts with flavor. My favorite thing is a garlic press. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one because it's so different than using the garlic that comes in the little jar all chopped up, or the garlic that um, you just is in powder form. This gives intense flavor to everything. So we've got lemon oil, and watch this, I'm gonna shoot in some fresh pressed garlic. I'm telling you, you are gonna love this. I take it out, you don't need to take it out, you can just keep going. This is the best investment. I put garlic on everything. Garlic's really powerful. It's uh, got a lot of, <laughs> gotta use those muscles. Beneficial health properties. And it just makes everything taste good. You ever walk into someone's kitchen, they could just be cooking garlic and you're like, oh my gosh, what are you making? Because it's that, it's that good. All right, so this ultimately, if we could just let this marinate for a while, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, that would be really, really good. And we're gonna do that. All right, now we're gonna cook. All right. 
Here we are. I've got the pan on medium heat. I'm going to put in a little olive oil. And really, that's a, another tablespoon. So I've only used two tablespoons of oil. This is about a pound and a half, I think, of scallops. So, you know, this coats the pan. And if I have extra, what I do is I take a paper towel and I kind of soak it up. Now, if this is better, I mean, you can use those sprays that you can put your own olive oil in. I have those over here. Sometimes I just do this. I like to make a mess. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. This really does not take very long to do. And while you're cooking, you can be making your brown rice, okay? So we're gonna throw in our veggies, our red peppers. They take a little bit longer to cook than uh, the zucchini. So we'll cook that up. I'm gonna let those cook for about five minutes. Then I'm gonna add in my zucchini. Okay, so my vegetables are cooking. And you know what I did? Um, I added in some frozen peas. It looked like it needed a little more splash of green. So I threw in some frozen peas. I got another pot. I got my scallops here. I'm gonna take this slotted spoon to get the liquid out. And we're gonna whoo, throw them in here in this pan and cook them up. Alright, look at how easy this is, and this is like really a half hour or less from start to finish, and then you get the kids to clean up. Ha! Good luck with that. Okay? Oh, that smells so good. That smells really, really good. I'm going to cook those. My vegetables are just about finished. I don't want them to, um, too cooked, right? Maybe we'll let them put a cover on. And we'll do our scallops. You could do these on a skewer on the grill. You could cook them in the oven. I just thought, you know what, you can see me cooking them here. So we'll do it here. Um, here, you want them to get like a nice little... You don't want them to be uh, opaque anymore. You want them to cook all the way through. They don't take very long. They're a good source of protein if you like scallops. If not, use something else. If you're vegetarian, you could use tofu doing this. Lots of different options, okay? It's all what to do with it. It smells beautiful. We've got the scallops. Can you smell it? It's good. We're going to put it all together in a second. Okay, I put it all together on a platter and I sprinkled the smoked paprika on top of it. Doesn't that look like a restaurant meal? That looks delicious. Okay, so didn't that look good? All I did was sprinkle some of this um, smoked paprika on the top. If you want, do that. If not, not. And then for dinner, they're going to be like, Mom, did you really cook that? You can scoop it onto your plate. And a great way to measure if you're having some rice, if you earned it, if you need that complex carb. If not, pair it with some more veggies or a salad. Look at that. Usually it stays together nicely. And there you have a beautiful lunch or dinner. This is great to put on top of a salad the next day take it to work with you or have it when you come home. Enjoy, it smells, it smells delicious and I'm gonna go eat now. All right everyone, thanks for joining me again in my kitchen. Bye bye.